All right, so what I have here basically is an open air electron beam set up. Um, basically, I have two vacuum pumps pumping in series. They're pumping down a vacuum tube, which is um, has two electrodes on it. It is collimated via this extraordinarily long magnet, um, which is is hollow in the center. Um, the power supply is a battery charger for car batteries pumped into a ZVS flyback circuit, which generates about 15 kilovolts. That runs into a 19-stage Marx generator here, and then that, which ends up being around 240 kilovolts, probably a little bit higher, um, gets dumped in here. At the end of this accelerator is a mica window. Um, it's very hard to see. I actually don't need the putty on it right there, but um, I just put it on there earlier for the case of experimentation. Back up some. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the ability of this you need electron the beam. Oh, you the calculator. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to demonstrate that this is capable of... So keep okay. on the you calculator? Need to get out of the radiation beam. Okay. The radiation beam? Yeah. Can you, um, can you see the numbers on the camera? Uh, barely. Should I zoom in? No. Okay. Hang on. Uh, well, right now it looks black. Um, yeah. Alright, back up some so you can get the, um, the distance between this and that, okay? Okay. Ready? Once it changes modes... Alright. Hang on. I need it actually on constant drive instead of, um... Single? Instead of pulse. Hang on one second. I'm having electrical difficulties. Okay. Alright, so you can still see the same numbers are up. Yeah. It's out of focus. Okay, it's back in focus. Dang it. Alright. As I bring it. Okay, hang on. I don't know if it's doing that in real life, but it started to disappear. It did. Oh, okay. setting right now is actually kind of wrong. Hang on, let me change the vacuum level just a tiny bit. Okay, let's try this again. Ready? Oops. Ready? Yeah. Hang on. Did you see it clear? Yeah. There it goes again. Let's try it. Ironically, I don't need it to be pulsing. Hang on, let me give it a second. Three, two. Dang it. It's accelerating electrons better whenever it's not pulsing, which is really strange. Do you need two hands for it, for it to not pulse? No. Alright. I might need to adjust the vacuum again. Alright, so keep an eye on the calculator. And we're going to try like a long range test. Let's see. Out here. Ready? Dang it. I'm give it a second. You know what I need? I need a filament heater. Because whenever I get this close, the change on the calculator is purely due either to x-rays or to the discharge. Wait, can you do it again real quick? Because I... Oh. Why is it boofing up? Um, because it's being EMP'd. Oh, it's being amped? Actually, it's being electron beamed. So it's being... Ebbed. E beamed. Ebbed. Come on. Dang it. Hang on. Oh, sugar. 
Don't collapse the box. What did the saltines ever do? <laughs> Some. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can get a good game. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna redo the pressurization again. Ready? Out here. Running. Back here. I don't know if the camera is picking up something else, but, like, it looked for a second like the numbers were changing. Or maybe that's, no. like, the reflection. Dang it. Okay. Alright, well, after a few failed experiments, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and call that. Well, actually, the experiment did work, it's just that... Do well, I... I have an idea. Do I hit set? Um, no, you would hit the red dot.